Uh, I want to follow up on Brianna's question because it seems these members of Congress are simply responding to their constituents, yeah. and you're seeing a lot of these town halls. And it seems as if the more you press your case, the more John Kerry presses the case on your behalf, uh, the more the uh, opposition grows, and maybe it's just, or the more the opposition becomes vocal. Why do you think you've struggled with that? And you keep talking about a limited mission. We have a report that indicates you've actually asked for an expanded list of targets in Syria, and one military official told NBC News, uh, characterized it as mission creep. Can you respond to that uh, report? Uh, uh, that uh, report is inaccurate. Uh, I'm not going to comment on uh, operational issues that uh, you know, are sourced by some military official. Um, one thing I've got a pretty clear idea about is uh, what I talk with the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff about. Uh, and uh, what we have consistently talked about is something limited and proportional uh, that would degrade Mr. Assad's capabilities. Um, in terms of uh, opposition, Chuck, I expected this. Th th this is hard. And um, I was under no illusions when I, uh, when I embarked on this, uh, on this path. But I think it's the right thing to do. I think it's good for our democracy. Uh, we will be more effective if we are unified going forward. And you know, part of what we knew would be that there would be some politics interjecting uh, themselves. In, no, I said some. Uh, but I, what I have also said is, is that the American people have gone through a lot when it comes to the military over the last decade or so. And so I understand that. And, and when you start talking about chemical weapons uh, and their proliferation, you know, those images of those bodies uh, can sometimes be forgotten pretty quickly. The news cycle moves, moves on. Frankly, if we weren't talking about uh, the need for an international response right now, this wouldn't be what everybody would be asking about. Um, you know, there would be some... Uh, resolutions that were being proffered in the United Nations and the usual hocus pocus, but the world and the country would have moved on. So, uh, trying to impart a sense of urgency about this, why we can't have an environment in which, uh, over time, people start thinking we can get away with chemical weapons use. Uh, it's, it's a hard sell, but it's something I believe in. And, and, and as I explained to Brianna, in this context, me making sure that the American people understand it, I think is important uh, before I take action.